All right, uh, I'm gonna make this video here about the. Um, in case you didn't know, there's going to be a penumbral lunar eclipse um, on the fifth. Well, actually, from the fourth into the fifth, it's actually not. We're not going to see the uh, eclipse. It's happening over Europe, I believe. But um, I don't know if a lot of people know this. The moon only gets to 100% full, as far as I can tell when there's going to be a lunar eclipse. Um, most of the other times, a full moon only gets to 99.9, 98.8. You know, I think it could go all, all the way down to maybe 99.5%. And you can actually see that when you zoom in on it. <clears throat> um, and I believe that the moon cha uh, phase change can be filmed when it goes from 100% down to 99.9 percent. .9%. I've been wanting to do this for gosh probably three years or so when I've kind of figured this out. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if anybody's ever filmed this but every time I try it it's cloudy for some reason and it usually happens lower on the horizon. Now this one is going to happen um, when it's high in the sky. So uh, hopefully it'll be clear. My weather forecast is looking terrible for this, but hopefully it'll be clear, and I'll be able to film this. But anybody, you know, use moon calc, um, put about where you're at, and you can look right here. Identification of moon phase slash visibility or illumination, and you can drag your time slider up here. And the moon is going to drop to 99.9% at about 3.44 in the morning. That's the central time. So I'm going to set my alarm clock and I'm going to get up and I'm going to try to film this. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second with pictures. Um, how to tell the difference between 100% and 99.9. .9. You know, some people, some people know this, some people don't. But... Another thing, if you play around with moon calc here, you can see the moon phases change very quickly. And watch the 99.9 .9 go down to 99.8. Okay, that happens at around 8 a.m. It goes down 99.7 around 10 a.m. or so. So that's two hours. And then the the lesser the phase gets, the quicker it changes. 99.6, 5, 4, 3. Okay, you play around with this, but on average it's 45 minutes to an hour. But when there's a, an eclipse, now I, I look this up, you know, and they kind of mention it, but there's no explanation for the amount of time it stays at 100%. Now, if the, in the heliocentric model, if the moon is constantly moving you know it should be changing phases that quick but go to any go to any lunar eclipse and look at this on moon calc and i think this is a, can all be ver can all be verified this seems accurate every time i've checked moon calc on this stuff it's been accurate and so let's go back to uh day before here let's go to the fourth and you can see yeah, it's 9.9 when it okay look here when it hits it's 99.9 .9 before moonrise here now this is on the fourth which is uh saturday night no yeah saturday night um this moon will stay full for over eight hours and there have been eclipses when it's done it for over 12 hours so if the moon's constantly moving and it's getting its light from the sun, this is impossible in the heliocentric model. It does it every eclipse, and you know, like I said every other time the moon phase changes, average 45 minutes to an hour. But I haven't seen no explanation in the heliocentric model for it staying full for you know eight to twelve hours. Now, some could be longer, but that should be impossible. Unless the sun and moon are both moving at that time, or 
the moon is uh, puts out its own light and it's doing something we just don't understand. But anyway, I will now show you the difference between the um, okay. This was now this from 2018. I just pulled this. This is the famous eclipse, uh, lunar eclipse from 2018. I just pulled this up to show you what I'm talking about, the difference between 99.9 .9 and 100% full. Now this is, I believe, the day before the eclipse, the night before. Now this moon will be 99.9 .9 or 99.8. I would have to look it up, at, you know, timestamp and all. But you see these craters right here along this edge? Okay, that is your terminator line. It's only on one side. You know, you're not going to see it on any other edge. Oh, so just on one side. You can't see any other craters. Okay, there's your terminator line beginning right there. And it's coming around. And you see these craters here. Craters here. Very, very, very thin terminator line. It's probably 99.8. Okay. Well, if you go to, um, that's just another picture of it. Um, okay, this is the day of the lunar eclipse. Mm, let's get a good one as close to the eclipse here. You can zoom in here, and you do not see that crater line because there's no terminator. You see a tiny bit of a jagged edge up top, but you do not see that crater definition. I believe that this can be filmed changing. If we're pointing our cameras at the moon, I believe you'll, it'll go from this to the crater line starting to appear. And I really want to film that. I said, not sure if it's ever been done before. Maybe it has. If it has and you know of a link, you know, please. Uh, drop it in the description because I want to see this. I've been dying to see it, but anyone in North America, calling out all the sky watchers here, uh, if you've got a telescope, P900, P1000, whatever, any kind of camera that you can zoom in on the moon, I really want to see some people film this. Um, I'm, I'm praying that I'll be able to film it, but if I can't, I at least want to see it. So, uh, that's about all I got for this one, but, uh, I'd appreciate it if anybody, I mean, just like I said, go to MoonCal, can put it on your location and figure out exactly when this is going to happen for you. And, you know, I know it's going to be late and early for some people. You know, I got to be at work Monday morning, so I'm going to have to set my alarm clock extra early and get up, but I'm, I'm going to try it. Um, so any help on this would be greatly appreciated. All right, and uh, like I said, if you, if you do capture this, Please, please let me know because I'm dying to see it. If I capture it, of course, I'm going to be super excited and I will be immediately putting a video out about it. I'll probably, this is going to happen at, what, what I say, 3.30 something in the morning, 3.44 in the morning. I'll be editing the video and uploading it before I go to work Monday morning if I capture it. All right, that's all I got for this one. Thanks for watching.